everyone. Welcome back in. Continuing the coverage of the Apple River tubing tragedy. On this video, I'm going to put in some testimony from the U group, the defendants group. If you've seen part of this already, you'll know that they're, they were further away, but they, they really were. The more I watched this, they were really further away from everything that was going on. In fact, listening to their testimony, none of them even knew what was happening. They thought, well, he went down there to find the iPhone, okay? So he goes down there to find his friend's iPhone. He takes his snorkels. And as he's down there, he comes into interaction with these kids, right? They're making fun of him for what he's doing. Then he drops his snorkels. He can't find them. He keeps looking for them. And I think that's the only reason he stayed around in that area. Otherwise, I think he would have walked away. However, that being said, he was on the other side of the tubes from the teenage group from his group so he had to still get past them in order to get to his group and as he's going around and getting trying to get past them that's when the carlson group of all the the 25 year old drunk t girls coming up and giving him crap and starting what i call everything that happened then you see ernesto one of it i think it was ernesto one of his friends come trying to walk back to to see what was going on checking on him or whatever Let's listen to what his group says about it, and then we'll go from there. Afternoon, sir. Buenos uh, tardes. Good afternoon. Can you tell us your name, please? Ariel Chagas. Ariel Chagas. Ariel, do you know this man here to my right, wearing the blue shirt and the red tie and the green jacket? Si. Yes. Who is that? Nick. Nick. How do you know Nick? I met him through my cousin. Ernesto. Ernesto. How long have you known Nick? A little over five years. During that time, have you had an opportunity to observe his character, his person? Sí. Yes. During the time that you've known him for over those five years, have you had an opportunity to observe his person, his character? Sí, como no. Yes, of course. Do you consider him to have a character for peacefulness? Sí. Yes. In fact, when the police talked to you about this, you even mentioned that to them, did you not? Sí. Yes. I think when you spoke with the police, you they used terms which you agreed with along the lines of... Yes, I'm sorry. The objection is sustained. Uh, next question, please. You spoke with the police in August of 20 and 22 to a Spanish speaking police officer. Do you remember that? Sí. Yes. And I want to ask you some questions that that Spanish speaking police officer asked you about your observations of Nick on that day. Okay. 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 Just so we're clear. It's in August of 22 that the police officer is asking you questions about Nick in July 30th of 22. Does that make sense? Sí. Yes. And do you remember the officer asking you if Nick was calm or angry on that day, July 30th, 2022? No recuerdo si me preguntó eso o no. I don't remember if the officer asked me that or not. Let me just ask you this. As you sit here today, do you remember on July 30th, was Nick Mew angry or was he calm or did he have some other character, demeanor that you noticed? No, solo él estaba calmado. No. Suena pasivo. He was calm. He was calm. Okay. On that day, July 30th, did you see Nick with a pair of goggles and a snorkel? Sí. Yes. At some point that day, did your girlfriend drop your phone so your phone was lost in the river? Sí. Yes. I want to ask you questions before the phone was lost, okay? Okay. Okay. Before the phone was lost, do you remember Nick using the goggles and snorkel to swim in the river at different times? Sí. Yes. When he did that, was he wearing his hat? No recuerdo. 
I don't remember. Was he wearing his sunglasses when he snorkeled? I remember he had them on before using it. Do you remember that he put his glasses back on after he was done snorkeling? No, I don't remember. Okay. I want to just jump ahead now to the phone and it being lost, okay? What did you guys do when you lost your phone? We started looking for it near the area where it had gotten lost. Did Nick uh, volunteer to do anything? Yes, he started swimming and looking for it with the snorkel. Did he go um, in the direction that the water was flowing? Yes. There's a picture there to your left that's marked as Exhibit 12A. Do you see yourself there in the flag shorts? Yes. Is that the phone or in a lanyard around your neck? What's See. your phone? Yes. In, what is your phone in? Is it in some protective package? What's that in? See, on cover. That's yes, a I cover. Does your phone float when it's in that? I suppose it does. You lost your phone that day, correct? Do you have that phone now? No. No. Did you get returned to you at some point? Yes. Who returned it to you? A sheriff, I believe, from here. Do you understand the police found your phone eventually? Yes. And you got it back? It, yes. Before the police found your phone, <laughs> did you see Nick go and look for it? You lost the phone. You said you saw Nick go snorkeling or go swim for it. What did you see? He was looking for it with the snorkel um, down the river. At some point, did you learn that Nick had, was in contact with other people on the river? Yes. Was that because something you saw or something you heard? I heard it from his wife. What did you hear from his wife? She said that Nick was in trouble. What did you do when you heard that? My girlfriend told me to go look and see what was going on. Did you go look and see? Yes. Did you walk down river towards where Nick was? Yes. As you were walking there, what did you see? Well, at first we were, we were very far away. I don't know the distance exactly, but we were very far away. So I started walking. I had my beer on my hand, and I was getting closer a little bit, and I Bonus. saw that that Nick was close or near a group of people, young people. And what I was able to understand uh, uh, from the distance where I was at is that they were um, joking or well, yeah, bullying. Uh, oh, bullying him. Somebody had taken his snorkel and had thrown it down the river, something like that. Uh, that's what I was seeing as I was getting closer. I, and so then I was think that, thinking that it was just a game for them. But as I got closer, I see that a lot of people, that many people started hitting him. Let me stop but, you there for a second. Can, can you describe when you say they were the hitting minute. them? Was it with their hands, their feet, their knees, fists? Can you just tell me what you saw? With the hands. One person, more than one person? <coughs> Several people. There, there were many people around. And when you saw them hit Nick, what happened to Nick? Did he stay standing or, or did something else happen? I rem that remember that he fell to the river, to the water. What happened? What did you see next after Nick had fallen into the water? think that somebody was kind of like uh, pushing him down. But I was still getting closer, but, but I was basically walking. As you got closer, what did you see next? As I was getting closer, I saw that somebody started bleeding. Uh, then I saw, well, Nick was kind of standing up. Uh, I was over here. He was to my left. Oh, and I believe a woman came over. Uh, towards him to hit him. Uh, Nick oh. responded. Oh. He defended oh. himself. There were many people around, and what I saw 
was uh, re uh, happened really quickly, really fast. And I think later I went to where Nick was, or I got to where Nick was. And when you got to where Nick was, what did you do or what did you see? I only saw that uh, he was, uh, I think he had gotten up. I touched his arm, but at that moment there was a lot of blood uh, right in front of me, uh, blood that belonged to the other people. Recuerdo. That happened very quickly. I'm just trying to say what I remember the most. So we, we went back. Yes, it was very fast. There were many people around. There was a big disturbance, and it is a little difficult to assimilate or what had happened or to let it sink in. Are you able now, after some time, to pick out every detail, or do you just remember what you've said? No, I only remember that, uh, what I am telling you now, because some, it, some time already went by. So when we walked back, when we started walking back in, in, in the direction towards the group, straight towards the group, I was on the left side, Nick was on the right side. And at that moment, when we had walked a little, I see that on the other side of the river or, uh, was the young man with the injury to his stomach. He was shouting, look what you did to me. He was kind of yelling or shouting at Nick. And at that moment, the young guy fell to the water. So we continued walking, and I, was, uh, I kept going towards the group, and Nick uh, kept going to the other side of the river straight. Did you see Nick do anything at the other side of the river? I did not uh, keep, uh, keep an eye on him because I went to see my girlfriend. Did Nick join you back at the tubes where your group of friends were? Yes. At some other point when you're walking back to the tubes, did anybody yell or scream or run up near where you were? There were many people no, running no, 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 no. and screaming. Um, they, uh, the, some people came towards our group, but they didn't get too close. They, I, I don't remember what they, they were just yelling and screaming, and I don't remember what they were saying. Did you respond to them in any way? No, I did not. Did you, uh, did you see Ernesto or Sergio or Nick or anyone else from your group respond to them in any way? No. When you were uh, back at the tubes, I want to ask you questions about that, okay? Did you get a chance to kind of make some observations of Nick? Did you see him? Yes, somewhat. What did he look like? He looked like a uh, kind of scared, uh, pale. Those are the only questions I have. Thank you. Ariel, is it fair to you're pretty uncomfortable testifying here today? No. You're, you're comfortable up there on the stand? I don't understand your question. Ernesto is your uncle? My cousin. cousin. He's best friends with Nick. Yes. Are you friends with Nick, or do you just know Nick through Ernesto? It could be said that we're friends, not close friends, but kind of friends. After they took uh, the goggles from him, they, it was kind of like they were starting to um, hit him, to give him blows. Mm, well, like um, slapping him with the hands. Well, that's what I saw next. What I was able to see uh, with all the people that were there. When I was closer, I saw that a, a girl went to attack him, and he defended himself. He responded. When I got closer, I started to see the blood, basically everywhere. At that moment, I, uh, I went and touched Nick on his arm, but it happened very quickly. Ariel, did somebody tell you to say these things? What do you mean? Who's going to tell me if that's what I remember, what I uh, lived, what I saw? Ernesto, you recall you said you don't 
know if you said to the officer on shore that Nikolai said they took his knife. When, when you spoke with the officer at the exit, that was, you spoke in English, right? Uh, creo que sí. Um, I think so. Want me through everything? No, it doesn't appear that it's a transcript of your conversation with the officers at the shore. Yes. You said, you said that somebody took his knife in his pocket, right? I said, I don't remember, but if that's what I say, it's okay. Are you, are you saying you don't think? I don't remember. Okay. So you remember, you don't remember if you said they took my knife, but you remember somebody pointing and walking towards you? I don't remember. Didn't you testify to that? Somebody pointed and walked towards you and you told them to get back? Yeah. Sí. Eso sí. Yes, that I did. But you never told that to police, right? Well, they don't, they don't ask me. You never said it either, though. Right? So in, in that moment, you can say or remember everything you said. I answer whatever they ask me. You also testified that, remember when I asked you if Nick said anything when he was walking by you on his way back to your group? I don't remember. And you said you weren't paying attention because you were looking at the guy who was walking towards you or the person? Correcto. Correct. Okay, I want to go to some frames. I'll let the clerk know when I'm ready. And you, you did... The officer never asked if somebody was pointing at him, anyone, but at you. But you did say, "I told Nick to come, and he came, and that's it, right?" Correcto. Correct. This is from the video. There's some <clears throat> graphic parts in it. This is 3291. I'm ready. I'm going to scroll, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. On 3318, that's Ariel in the American flag shorts and black shirt, right? Repeat that. Correcto. Repeat that. Correct. This Correct. is this is Nick here. Correct. And this Correct. is you. Correct. Correct. And Nick is standing right next to you, and you're touching his arm. Sí, cuando va pasando. Correcto. Yes, okay. when he was passing by. Do you see anyone in this frame walking towards you? Okay. At that very moment, in that picture, I don't see anybody. How about here on 3322? That is somewhere and there somebody is coming, it's pointing us. I don't see it there, but I saw that day. Okay. I've scrolled a little ways into 3333. See anyone pointing or walking towards you? No, no, no. I don't see anybody. Does it even look like anyone's looking at you? I don't see anybody at that time. But it depends. I don't see those people there. I was but down there. It depends on the time of the video or the point of view of the person who was taking the video. That's you right here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're actually, you're actually walking towards the camera? See? Nobody is approaching you or walking towards you? And? No. No. Nikolai isn't in this, right? No, no, no. I don't see him. This is 3936. Is that you, Ariel, and Sergio on the top left? Yeah. Yep. See? Yes. You still haven't walked back to your tubes? I don't remember. Well, in the photo. He's standing there, but in the picture, I don't know if it's after or before. Sure. Okay. Right? Do you think this is what you're thinking of after Nick was long gone? 
This is you, right? Yeah, that's me. And here's a girl standing by a group of other women pointing at you from a ways away or but, in your direction. Uh, I'm not sure, but this guy is coming this way from there. Probably one of the, one of the guys who was in the middle. I said to him, stay there, stay there. The guy is behind the yellow teacher. This guy I probably, probably was that one. It was right here by, in the front, this guy right here. This guy? Right here. Right here? Yeah, no, he's walking here in the picture. You say, you can see he walk. When I say stay there, stay there, and he walk the other way. But in that time, he probably was right here on the hammer, my, my finger, something like that. Let's keep going, we'll see. And do you, you said before you didn't know if it was a man or a woman, right? Who was pointing, and then that you and walking towards you and pointing, and then no, what was a man? It was a man. Was a man. If it was here, it would have been after Mew Nikolai was long gone, right? Momo? It would have been what after Nikolai. Sorry. I wait for the interpretation. It would have been long after Nikolai was gone, right? Yeah, but the. The person, when he started pointing me, started pointing towards us. That start when Nico coming this way. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure he was in the picture or whatever the video was right there. He has like a, he turned this way to the other people, but before he was a little more far and he pointed to us. Before, when I asked what what did Nikolai say, if anything, to you when you guys when he passed you. He said he didn't know because the guy was coming towards you. Now your testimony is that it was later in the video. So do you know what he said to you or no? If anything, Nikolai? I don't remember. And you'd agree you got pretty close to where Nikolai was with the group, right? In que momento? At what time? What moment? I'll go back. And you, you said you, what did you say you saw for injured people? What was them? What did you see as far as injured people? Uh, I saw some women the other side. That's, that's, that side woman was behind, probably the, this guy. It was like in the middle of the river. And I say, what's going on? Because I don't know what's happening. I saw her, and I said, what's going on? You, did you see this man here on 3321? No. And you didn't see Nick do anything? No. I don't have anything else. <clears throat> Mr. Nelson? You were asked some questions about slide 3321 that's in front of you. Yes. Again, this is you. See? It yes. looks like you're reaching out to Mr. Mew, who's standing next to you. Correct. Correct. Mr. Mew is walking. See? Yes. He's walking upriver. See? Ariel yes. in the flag shorts is walking upriver behind Mr. Mew. As in this moment, in este momento, in el video, yo veo Ariel. At Pero this before, moment, I don't, I don't remember what Ariel was. In the video, I can see him, but before, I don't remember where he was. I appreciate that. I'm not going to ask you about that. I want, I'm going to ask you about this person here. Do you see the person in the two-tone shorts? Que quien es? Do you see that person in two-tone shorts? I'm not sure. I'm not asking if you know who he is. I'm just asking you, do you see the person that I'm pointing to in the two-tone shorts? No. Right now no. on the screen, do you see them? Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Oh, now I do. Now I do. Next to that person is a man in a yellow shirt. See? Yes. I want to now ask you questions about slide 3922. You haven't watched the video, have you? Yes. You agree yes. that you have not? No. It's no. A poor question on my part. Have you watched the video or have you not watched the video? No. No. The screens, the slides that we're showing you go in sequential order. So the first one is zero, 
The last one is 4,819. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. I previously showed you 3321, and now we're showing you something later, 3922. Does that make sense? Same. Yes. I'm going to blow this up. In the upper left-hand corner, that appears to be um, you and Ariel and Sergio standing next to each other. Agreed? Correct. Correct. But, but and what I said before, in this moment, I don't see this is, is yes to is antes or después del problema, because I don't see the whole video. I don't know if this is before si or after the problem, because I haven't seen the whole video. If I were to tell you hypothetically, this is after, because we can see a victim or two victims or two people with injuries down. Agreed? Make sense? Okay. Okay. And then over here, way on the right, you see this blur that may be a person without a shirt on walking from a different direction over to your group. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. I'm now going to scroll through the forward in time, and I want to show you stuff, okay? I'm going to stop at 3953. I'm going to blow this up. Do you see somebody here on the left-hand side? Yeah. Is that a man in two-tone shorts that I had previously shown you? See. Si. Yes. Had that man ran up to you and then you... So, oh, wait, 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 please. I'll Objection sustained. Please rephrase. Is this the person that you saw come up to you that you pointed to to say, go away? See. Si. Yes. And as we move forward here in time, the person in the yellow shorts that was in a different spot before is there too, correct? See. Si. Yes. And then as we move forward to 4012, excuse me, you now see the woman pointing the finger at you, correct? Correct. Correct. That's what I say, what's going on? Understood. When you previously, when you spoke to the police, was there a Spanish interpreter there? No. No. Um, sometimes when you've spoken today, you've answered in English. Agreed? Say. Si. Yes. Fair to say your preferred language is Spanish. Español. Spanish. You know some English. Say. <coughs> si. Yes. If you wanted to communicate something really important and make sure you were accurate, would you say it in Spanish, or would you say it in English, or would you say it in some other language? Español. Spanish. Why? Because there are many words in English that have la, different meanings. Hora de uno and when uh, one answers, maybe the answer is not the correct one. Also, when you hear words, is it easier for you to understand the words spoken to you and the words spoken to you are in Spanish rather than in English? Si. Yes. You answered some questions about your knowledge about your friend Nick being uh, from Romania. I want to ask you about that, okay? Correct. Do you, do you know exactly when Nick Mew immigrated to the United States? No. Do you no. know what age he was? I don't remember. Do you know whether, in fact, he was or was not in the military at any point? No. No. When you spoke with the police, you told them you thought he might have been in the military for the reasons that you said here, because communist countries sometimes require that, correct? Mandatory, yes. You also told the police that you didn't actually know. You told them several times, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Correct. Correct. Do you have actual knowledge as to whether Nick Bu was... Uh, in Romania and served uh, mandatory service for his country? No. No. Last area here. You said you were able to remember some things that you saw, but you couldn't remember everything that you heard. Would that be fair? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you find it for you easier? Do you find it easier to remember things that you see, or do you find it easier to remember things that you hear? Cosa que veo. That I see. That's all. Mr. Anderson? Is your testimony today important? 
Super important. Very important. Sometimes you answer in English. Oh, see. Si. Si. Oh, yes. Because you're also comfortable speaking in English. Sometimes I understand it, sometimes I don't. If you told the officer, he said that somebody took his knife in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. That's something you can easily understand in English, right? I don't remember. Do you understand what that means in English? Do you think? Si. Yes. And if you told that to the officer 17 times, do you think you said that because you remembered it at the time? I don't know how many times you say 17 times. I, I don't remember. You want to see the transcript? You can show me. Well, that's what he say I said, but I don't remember saying many times. I don't know. Do you agree or not agree that you told the officer that 17 times? I don't remember. You don't remember that, but you remember something you didn't tell the police? from almost two years ago. What do you mean? Something that I didn't tell the police two years ago. This is a 13-page transcript, and there's 17 times on here where it says something about, he said they took my knife. Objection, asked and answered, cumulative. Sustained. He said he didn't remember. Thank you, uh, Mr. Torres. Torres. Senor. My apologies. You are excused. You may step down. When Nick came back, do you know if the look was shock or fear or something else? Like in shock? When you're leaving, specifically did not want to sit by Nikolai because you were afraid to sit close to him, right? Yes. You weren't, you didn't know what happened, is that fair? <clears throat> no. So you weren't afraid to sit next to him because of anything he had done, correct? No. No. You were afraid in part because of the look on his face, right? Correct. The shock that he had on his face concerned you, right? Si. Yes. That's the reason that you didn't want to sit next to him, right? Podría decir que sí. You could say that, yes. That's all I have. Thank you, ma'am. When Nick came back, do you know if the look was shock or fear or something else? From my shock. Like in shock? When you're leaving, you specifically did not want to sit by Nikolai because you were afraid to sit close to him, right? Yes. You weren't, you didn't know what happened, is that fair? <clears throat> no. No. So you weren't afraid to sit next to him because of anything he had done, correct? No. No. You were afraid in part because of the look on his face, right? Correct. Correct. The shock that he had on his face concerned you, right? Si. Yes. That's the reason that you didn't want to sit next to him, right? Podría decir que sí. You could say that, yes. He has something like a uh, hammer in his hand. Just take a picture and save it. I don't take a picture, take a video. I take a video. Look. Just take whatever. Look, what he has in his hand. Look. Amy, get out there. Look. So are you. He has something in his hand. Just take. So, I try. Over there. Everybody put your ass out. Yeah. Ernesto, move para allá. 
Mueve para allá. No, pero donde quiera va a estar arroz, que no es el Escúchame. Todo, Escúchame. Para allá. But just take video. He waiting for something. Just take a video. I know. I try, but maybe I can't. Porque él está viniendo desde allá con un ma con una cosa en la mano, un martillo. Hold, hold your phone. We're going with the rapids. Over the rapids. Over the rapids. Oh, he's waiting. 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 <laughs> what? Get away from us! What? What's going on with y'all, homie? He's on camera. Guys, let's go. He's on floor day. He's on floor day. Yo, the new iPhone got that good quality. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Who is this? Yes, yes, yes. From the, the culture. From the culture. Who is that? From the culture. Who is that? Who the hell is this? Go. It doesn't matter. He said he was looking for little girl. Sergio Liuban Ruiz Leiva. Sergio Liuban Ruiz Leiva. Sergio, were you tubing with a group of people, including Nikolai, on July 30, 2022? Yes. Are you in that? Are you on that image somewhere? Sí. Yes. Where? Del short amarillo. I have the yellow shorts. And white shirt and white bucket hat? Say. Yes. Do you remember a time when you were tubing when Ariel's phone got lost? Say. Yes. Do you remember a discussion about looking for the phone or just leaving it? Uh, see, this is 
en un momento decidieron de que no se iba a buscar el teléfono, que no querían porque la aseguranza iba a pagar el teléfono. Yes, and at that point, at some point, the, they decided they didn't have to look for the phone because the insurance would pay for the phone. Did Nikolai go look for the phone? Yes. At some point after he went to look for the phone, did you hear Sandy yell something about he's in trouble? No. No. Did something catch your attention downriver? Well, there was a group of people there. <clears throat> And what about it caught your attention? They were around Nick. Was there a time you saw Nick down in the water? No, because there were many people. It was a large group. Did you ever remember seeing Nick interacting with a blonde girl? No. Sergio, do you remember telling Recuerdos? police there was a girl, if I'm not mistaken, with a black leotard? Sí. Yes. Who said, go, 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 go to Nick? I saw her when she was around that group because uh, she was the easier to identify because of the black leotard. But I was um, far away from that group. I, I just didn't move from my inner tube. And do you remember telling police that Nick pushed her? I don't remember that. For the record, yeah. Judge, I handed the witness Exhibit 45 on page 15. Sergio, do you see this transcript? Yes. In about the middle of the page, do you see where you said the woman yelled, go, 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 and then Nick goes and pushes her? Yes, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> And you were, you were far away, you said? Yes. Judge, I'm going to pull up some screenshots or frames. Sergio, is that you in the yep. top left? Yes. And it, if you know, is that about where you were when you were watching what was happening? I was uh, right by my inner tube. Do you remember telling police that you walked about five meters from your group and then someone told you to stop? When I uh, was going to move, my sister told me not to move. That She said, don't go to the other side. Just uh, And that's why I returned to my inner tube. Did you see the girl in the black, the blonde girl in the black swimsuit? Did you see her fall or stumble backwards when Nick pushed her? No, I don't remember. Do you remember if it was actually a push or if it was a punch or something else that Nick did to the blonde woman? No, I don't remember that. And Sergio, do you see on page 15, so I asked you about the paragraph on the middle. Remember that? Say. Now, the next... Yes. The next paragraph... We were describing what happened. Do you see that? Yes. You described that it was after Nick got out of the water, and that's when the girl said, go, 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 and he pushed her. Do you see that? No, I'll see. Oh, yes. And then below that, you reiterate that it was after she said, go, 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 that Nick pushed her. Do you see that? Yes. Can you turn to page 16? On page 16, you described that she was wearing a black leotard, and you clarified that that was a black one-piece swimsuit. Yes. And then you, further down, you describe again seeing her, hearing her say, go, 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 and he pushed her. Do you see that? Yes. And... From your memory, when you're telling this to police, you thought that was the last thing that happened and then Nick walked back to your group. Yes. <clears throat> and you thought he was down in the water before 
the girl said, go, 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 and he pushed her, right? Yes. <clears throat> and Sergio, have you ever seen the video from this incident? No. And so you're, you were trying to recount what happened to the police as best you could remember? Yes. Yes, at that time. Did it happen fast? Yep. Was it difficult to remember in what order things happened? What I remember is that at the moment when we lost the telephone, Rosie started looking for the phone by the edge of the river. Yeah, I stayed there because they were talking about it and they said, just leave it, the insurance will pay for it. And I don't remember anything else except uh, that Nick took the snorkel and started diving in there to look for the phone. And then I left. And then that's when I saw on the other side the group of people. That's what I remember. I didn't see. I, I just heard things. But you can see in the transcript you told police multiple times that when she yelled, go, 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 Nick pushed her. Because I heard the voice of a woman. I, don't, I am not sure if it was her. You described her as a blonde woman in a black one-piece swimsuit? Yes. And when you described seeing Nick down in the water, you, you described that you believed they, they must have hit him or you thought they must have hit him because he was down in the water. Do you remember that? Or do you, did you say that to law enforcement? No. I didn't, I never said that. Do you remember ever seeing anyone hit Nick? No. When Nick came back, did Nick, do you, did Nick come back to the group at some point? Yes. And as he was coming back, did you see people that were injured? Yes, I saw them, yes. Did you see blood? From the place where I was, I could see the girl with her hand over here and you could see blood, yes, but you couldn't uh, distinguish it that clearly. She was the one asking for help to call 911. She was asking uh, my sister, my sister to call. And I didn't want to uh, continue looking. I just turned around. Turned away from the injured person you saw? So I, so I didn't see any of those things, yes. So that I didn't see what was happening. When Nick came back, did you hear him say anything? No. Did you hear him say they took my knife? Nettie asked, asked him, and I did ask uh, what, he sa what he, she said. Nettie asked him what happened, and he said that they had taken the knife away. So, and then I asked Nettie, what did Nick say? And she said that they had taken away his knife, and we didn't talk about it anymore. Did you see Nick saying anything or hear him talking anymore after that? No. What was Nick like? What did he look like? How was he acting? He looked pale when he got close to us, and his eyes wide open. He just sat there, and he didn't talk anymore. Do you remember when he came back? and got back to the, your group, him putting on his hat and jacket? Yes. Do you remember telling police you didn't look at Nick too much because you didn't dare to look at him? I didn't dare, but uh, he was also in the back of the inner tube. I was in the back. So you, can you p turn to page 21? Do you see where you said? Yes. I didn't look at him because the truth is I didn't dare to look at him? Yes. Do you remember how long you guys stayed at the sandbar? No. I don't remember that. I don't remember the time. Do you remember seeing police come? I know that Eric went looking for them. Eric went to... Eric went to look for the police and guide them. After Eric came back to your group, did your group leave? Yes. What was the... What do you remember of the time when you guys were tubing to the exit. Can you repeat that, please? What, can you describe what, what it was like, what you remember from tubing to the exit? 
But Nick, Nick put on his uh, hat and then his jacket, and we didn't talk. Nobody talked. Everyone, everyone was quiet. I don't have anything else. Mr. Trophacy? Sir, you, do you remember giving an interview to the police on August 3rd of 2022? Yes, they went to my home. And was your memory of what happened better in August of 2022, or is it better today? Well, it was better back then. I'm very nervous now. Okay, so when you spoke to the police in August, on August 3rd, about five days or four days after this happened, fair to say your memory is better of those events than it is right now? Yes. And when you were interviewed by the police, uh, there was a Spanish-speaking officer that was talking to you, is that right? Yes. And you tried to answer that officer's questions as truthfully as possible, is that right? Yes. And you said that was at your house? Yes. Uh, a less, was it less stressful than it is here today? <clears throat> yes. And... That officer had asked you questions about what happened on, on uh, July 30th of 2022. See? Yes. I want to ask you, if I can, uh, about that date and maybe some of the things you answered uh, when you were speaking to the officer, okay? See? Yes. So... I'm going to start with this. You knew that Nick Mew had a knife with him that day because you saw him fixing his shoe or his sandal. Is that right? Yes. So before any of this incident happened, he had been using that knife to fix something. Yes. And you knew that Mr. Mew or Nick was um, looking for a phone that your group had lost. Is that true? Say. Yes. And you also knew that Nick, on that day, Mr. Mew, was with your group, and your group included his wife. Is that right? Say. Yes. Can you look at that picture right there, sir? Mm -hmm. You had mentioned you're in this picture, correct? Is it okay, Judge, if I approach? Yes. Same. Same. And you see Mr. Mew here? Yes. Come. You see Mr. Mew here? Say. Yes. This is the, the, the shirt that he's got on. Is the same shirt you saw him wearing at the end of the day, right? Say. And this is... Yes. And this picture is taken before you guys head down the river. Is that right? Say. Yes. And he's wearing sunglasses in this picture, right? Say. Yes. Okay. So, um, is it fair to say that when he got off the river, he looked the same or close to the same as he did when he got on the river? Yes. Now, you know that Nick is looking for this phone that had been lost, that was Ariel's phone, right? Yes. And you were also aware that he had brought snorkeling gear and goggles with him on that day. Is that true? Yes. You had seen him on that day snorkeling around the areas where you guys were tubing. Is that right? Yes, at the beginning... That was the case in the morning. And when you speak to the officer about the specific incident, meaning what had happened, you recall telling that officer that you saw a group of people surrounding Nick. Can you repeat the question, please? Sure. You told the officer on August 3rd of 2022, when you were being asked about what you remember, that you had remembered 
that they were surrounding Nick. Yes. You told this officer that they were falling on him. Is that right? Yes, when they pushed him. You told the officers that they put Nick in the middle of them. Is that right? Yes, they had him there. It, it was a group of people, and you could see that um, they had um, my friend there. Could you see Nick with the group around him? Could you see him? No, I couldn't see him. I could just see the group. Just the group. You told the police that they hit him, meaning they hit Nick. Is that right? Yes, when he had clothes, and they pushed him, and then they surrounded him. You remember the blonde girl with the black suit on, is that true? I don't remember her very well. I don't rem but I have an idea. I don't remember her. Do you remember telling the police that you heard the blonde girl telling Nick, go, go, go? Yes. Yes. You told the police that Nick pushed her. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Did you see the rest of what happened? No. No. You see Nick walking back to your group, though. Is that right? Yes, when he was coming, yes, I saw. You described him to police as being white, pale, and scared. Is that right? Yes. You described him as having wide or open eyes. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Yes. And at one point, I think you said that Tatiana told you don't go over there. Is that true? Yes, my sister. So Nick, to your knowledge, what you know, Nick was by himself against that other group. Is that right? Yes. No one, you said to the police, as far as you know, no one in your group went over to help him. Is that right? No, nobody moved. And only at the end, Ariel and Eric went over there to see what was happening. But that was after it was over. Is that right? Yes. So in terms of assistance or help, Mr. Mew was by himself. Nick was by himself. Yes. Did it appear to you that, <coughs> Nick, that Nick was in shock when he came back to you? Yes, he, he looked in shock. I said in shock and, or uh, uh, something had impacted him. Yes, in shock. Waiting some time before your group moved on down the river after the incident. No, I don't remember that. When Nadi came back, when he when he came back, Nadi said, "Let's go." Do you remember telling the police that? You waited until you were told to leave the area. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember, but if I said that, it must be right. You were asked by Attorney Anderson about a statement that you said that you didn't dare look at Nick. Do you remember that? Yes. He wasn't threatening toward you, right? No, no. He wasn't being aggressive or angry toward you, right? No, no. You said the group was pretty quiet once he got back? Say, sí. yes. So when you said that you didn't want to look at him, it wasn't out of fear of him, right? No, no. No, no. It was because everyone was in shock? Yes, we didn't know what had, had happened, uh, so we were in shock, yes. We didn't know about 
anything of the, that incident. Who's Nati? Uh, I'm referring to Ernesto. I call him like that, yeah. I call him uh, Neti, but I'm referring to Ernesto. No, no, dije, solamente hablé de mí, no, no, no sé lo que piensa la demás persona. No, I only talked about me. I don't, I didn't know what the other people were thinking. When Nick came back, did you see any injuries on him? No, no, me fijé. No, I didn't notice. Nothing else. Mr. Trophacy? Sir, I'm going to just ask you, you were just asked about what you saw. And you told police that you saw Mr. Mew get hit, correct? Sí. Yes. You saw people surrounding him. Yo vi el, el grupo de personas, no, no es que, no sé si lo estaban rodeando, no, solamente vi el grupo de personas. I saw the group of people. I don't know if they were surrounding him. I saw a group of people. You agree that you told police they were surrounding him, though, right? ¿Puedes repetir, por favor? Can you repeat that, please? When you spoke to the Spanish interpreter, uh, or when you spoke to the Spanish-speaking officer, you told that officer that you observed people surrounding him. Correct? Sí. Yes. You told that officer that they, those people jumped on him, correct? Sí. Yes. And you told them that you saw Nick on the ground, correct? Sí, ahí cuando lo, lo empujaron. Yes, when they pushed him. Thank you, Mr. Ruiz. Leva, you may step down. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your name for the record? Alba Rosa Torres. Alba Rosa Torres. And can you, Alba, were you tubing with Nikolai on July 30, 2022? See? Yes. And I want to direct your attention to about the time the phone was lost, if you remember that. Yes. Sometime after the phone was lost, was there some sort of disturbance? Can you repeat that, please? Sometime after the phone was lost, was there some sort of commotion or disturbance? See? Sí. Yes. What do you remember about that? No, no mucho, no vi. Not much, because I didn't see. You didn't see anything about what happened downriver? Ya había pasado todo. Everything had already happened. So you just weren't looking in that direction? No. No. Do you remember hearing screaming or seeing people with bloody injuries at all? Alguien me dijo que llamara 911, nada más, que estaba pasando algo. Somebody told me to call 911, that's it. Uh, they said something was going on. And Alba, I forgot to ask, um, did you know Nick, Nick, Nikolai, before that day in, on the river? Sí. Yes. How long had you known him? Um, como 
cinco o seis años. About five or six years. Were you friends? Sí. Yes. So, after, did you say Tatiana told you to call 911? Sí. Yes. After that, did a person from your group leave to go help with the injured? Sí. Yes. And do you remember who that was? Uh, Eric. Uh, Eric. Was the reason your group didn't leave sooner because Eric was away helping with the victims? Nope. Nope. You told police, you remember telling the police about how you're impressed with how Eric react, responded to the situation? Mm, no. Mm, no. Do you remember anything you told law enforcement about Eric and... Only that he had gone uh, there to help. Do you remember telling law enforcement that your group called Eric back to your group so you could leave? Esta, sí. um, yes. Do you remember telling law enforcement that that man conducted himself very well and that's why we are waiting so long until the police came? Sí. Yes. Because he was away from your group, so you had to wait for him to come back, right? Sí. Yes. Was... When you saw people who were injured, were you wondering or trying to figure out who did it, who was the person who caused those injuries? I didn't know, but yes. And when you eventually left from the sandbar, Nikolai was wearing his hat, sunglasses, and jacket, right? When we were tubing? Yes. Su chaqueta. His jacket. Pero no recuerdo si los lentes. Yo no recuerdo si lentes. But I don't remember if he was wearing sunglasses. What about a hat? No recuerdo. I don't remember. When you spoke with law enforcement, you gave them a video you took after you left the sandbar. Do you remember that? Sí. Yes. He has something like a uh, hammer in his hand. Just take a picture and save it. I don't take a picture, take a video. I take a video. Look. Just take whatever. Look, what he has in his hand. Look. Amy. Get out there. Look. So are you. He has something in his hand. You're almost done. Amy. Just take a video, just take a picture, take whatever. Yeah. If it's anything. Take a video. Just take. You take a picture, take a video, take whatever. We don't know if it has anything to do with anything, but just take it. Just take. So, I try. Over there. Everybody put your ass out. Ernesto, move it para allá. Move it para allá. Escúchame. Escúchame. Para allá. But just take a video. He waiting for something. Just take a video. I know. I try, but maybe I can't. Porque él estaba viniendo desde allá con un con una cosa en la mano, un martillo. Hold your phone. We're going over the rapids. Over the rapids. And he waiting. Oh, but that was a video. You took after you left the sandbar when you were going to the exit, right? Sí. Yes. And in the beginning of the video, is that Nick that you see 
paddling with his hand. Do you remember? Or do you need to see it again? Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, just a moment. The interpreter needs a repetition. Repeat, por favor. Que sí, estaba en la con nosotros ahí, pero yo estaba tomando mi video porque estaba asustada. I saw that he was there. He was there with us, but I was taking the video because I was scared. Were you scared because you didn't know where the person was that had hurt those people? Sí. Yes. And you thought maybe the guy up on the shore was the person who did it? Sí. Yes. Did it turn out to be an employee of the tubing company? No sé. I don't know. Do you remember telling law enforcement that it turned out it was an employee of the tubing company? Yo no recuerdo. I don't remember. And do you remember uh, telling police that you were wrong, that it was a hammer, that was a, because you're poor English, you used the wrong word? Sí. Yes. Do you remember what was in his hand? No recuerdo. I don't remember. Pero algo tenía. But he had something. Was it maybe a radio or couldn't you see I don't know. I don't remember. Did you hear in the video somebody saying in English, you're almost there? No. No. Do you recall telling law enforcement that when Nick came back to the group, he appeared calm? I saw him just normal. And that was the time that you remember seeing blood everywhere and injured people? I didn't see anybody injured. I only saw that uh, from uh, something was going on uh, far away. And Nick, when you saw Nick, you described him as being calm. I saw him normal. We were all scared. I don't have anything else. Oh, but you and your group were tubing with uh, Nick and his wife on the Apple River that day. Is that right? Correct. Correct. And do you remember uh, your group stopping uh, at the Hideaway Bar uh, before all of this happened? Do you remember that? Sí. And yes. Prior to anything that happened with the other group before yes correct correct and when your group had stopped earlier in the afternoon nick was snorkeling around the area is that right see sí. yes does there come a point where ariel loses his phone no no not at that that moment no is there some point later on on the trip where Ariel loses his phone? See? Sí. Yes. And you know that Nick, because he has a snorkel and goggles, offers to go look for that phone. Is that right? See? Sí. Yes. So Nick leaves your group and goes away looking for the phone, is that right? Correct. Correct. Your group waits for Nick. Is that true? Correct. Correct. <clears throat> to your knowledge, is Nick by himself, meaning nobody else from your group goes with Nick? Solo. By himself, yes. And I think that you talked when you spoke to the police <clears throat> you mentioned that you saw this other group of people pushing nick is that right mm, no mm, no es que no vi. it's because i didn't see okay um Do you hear Nick's wife say that Nick's in trouble? 
Correct. Correct. And when his wife says Nick's in trouble, do you look to see how Nick's in trouble? En ese momento no porque yo estaba de espalda. Not at that moment because uh, my back was facing that direction. Do you turn around to see what's happening? No. No. Okay. Do you see anyone else in your group respond when Mr. Mew's wife says Nick's in trouble? Um, mi hermano. My brother. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's your brother's name? Ernesto. Ernesto. So you see, you see an Ernesto respond. How do you see him respond? Yo le dije, ve a ver qué pasa. I told him, go see what's going on. And to your knowledge, does Ernesto listen to you and do that? Yeah. Yeah. To your knowledge, does Ernesto walk over there or does he run over there? How does he get over there? I just saw him walking over in that direction and uh, all, almost at that moment, it, uh, Nick was coming back. Do you see Nick walking back to your group? Yeah. Yep. When Nick comes back to your group, he tells you that he'd been attacked, right? Yo pregunté. I asked. Okay. You asked what happened and he told you that he'd been attacked. Right? Estaban pushando. Fue, esa fue su palabra. They were pushing. Uh, that was the word that he used. Do you remember telling the police that Nick said five people, atta five people attacked him? <laughs> Yo no recuerdo. I don't remember. What you do remember is him telling you they were pushing him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You described him as calm. Was he quiet? Callado. Quiet. Did he appear to be in shock to you? Yo? You're talking about me? <clears throat> no. Well, first I'm talking about Nick. Oh. Oh. What did you see Nick doing? How was he behaving? Callao. Quiet. Have you ever seen someone in shock before? No. No. Did he appear to be... Was he angry or upset? No. No. So he tells you that he'd been pushed. Is that all he says to you about what had happened? Correct. Correct. You described you being in shock to the police. Is that right? Claro, todos. Of course, all of us. Okay, and can I ask you, um, at, at that point, why did you feel the way you felt? Porque no sabíamos qué estaba pasando, no sabíamos que tantas cosas, no sabíamos nada. Because we didn't know what was going on, we didn't know many things, we didn't know anything. Estábamos súper lejos nosotros. We were really far away. At that point... When Nick walked back to, back to your tubes, were you in were you in fear of the situation? Y sin él estar también porque estábamos todos asustados. And also when uh, he wasn't there because we were all scared. When you say we were all scared, did Nick appear to be scared to you? No le presté atención a él. I didn't pay attention to Nick. Did your 
And your group stayed there for some period of time after Nick came back to the tube, is that right? Correct. Correct. Do you remember about how long you were there? No recuerdo, pero mucho. I don't remember, but it was for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't see Nick attempt to run away from you guys, like up into the woods or anything, did you? No. No. He just sat on his tube, is that right? Correcto. Correct. When your group headed back down the river after Nick came back, were there already police there? Oh, ya había pasado todo prácticamente. Oh, everything had already happened, basically. Had, did your group have any contact with police at all when you were on the river? Eh, llamamos al 911 nomás. We just called 911. Tatiana. Tatiana did. And was that the... Was that the only contact that you guys had with police or law enforcement of any kind while you were on the river? Correcto. Correct. On that day, do you remember seeing Nick with sunglasses on at some point? Mm, I, not, I, yo no recuerdo. Mm, I don't remember. Yep. I'm going to show you exhibit... Mm -hmm. 12A. Are you in this picture? Yeah. Yep. Oh, see. Yep. Yeah. You're right there with the uh, pink shoes on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see Mr. Mew in that picture? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If I said he's wearing sunglasses, would you agree with me? Yes. Yes. If I mm -hmm. said he's wearing a, a, like a, the, the shirt that he was wearing later on, would you agree with me? See. Sí. Yes. So if mm -hmm. I asked you at various points during that trip, were there times that he was wearing the things you see in this picture? Sí. Yes. Are there times that he was wearing this shirt? Sí. Yes. I don't have any other questions for you, ma'am. Thank you for your time today. Mr. Anderson, do you have more questions? Just one question. Alba, was there... Did you ever hear Nick say he wanted to leave and go into the woods, and but Ernesto told him to stay with the group? No. No. Okay. Nothing else. One of the things that I did find frustrating in listening to a lot of the testimony from his group was that I didn't see anything. I don't know. I didn't see anything. And... I, uh, why didn't the defense team, although I think the defense is doing a really good job in this case, why didn't they ask more about his character? Because a lot of these people had known him for years, they'd been working with him for years, and I just wondered why they didn't try to use that to say, well, tell us what he's more, you know, tell us what he's about, tell us what kind of person he is. Because it just, I don't know. They all, especially, Sir, was it Ernesto? Yeah, it was Ernesto that seemed to really stand up for him. He he really, ser he sincerely likes Mew. He works with him for years. So anyway, that's my thought on it. Stay tuned. I've got more videos to drop on this case, more testimony. And I will see you in just a bit here later on today.